Hi guys, welcome to Grilling and Chilling. Today we're going to work on our holy guacamole dip, and it has got a little kick to it. So, uh, but I think you'll like it. So stick around and enjoy. All right, starting out here, we have uh, two avocados. We've got. Uh, we're going to need a half inch slice of white onion, aroma tomato, clove of garlic, a teaspoon of. Uh, cilantro, two dashes of Worcestershire sauce, uh, we've got a uh, half teaspoon of sea salt, a little bit of Melinda's triple X, or two small jalapenos, whatever you prefer. We're actually going to use the uh, jalapenos here. Yeah. And uh, then we've got a little bit of lime juice we're going to squeeze in there. Right now we're going to cut the uh, avocado. You just chop it right down to the uh, big seed in the middle. That's Give it a cool. spin. Cool and trick here. Check yeah, this out. Yeah, turns out. Then you just twist that other part. So works out nicely. Here we go again. If you can cut a straight line all the way around and uh, just right down to the seed, cut it, pick it up, give her a twist. Pops boom, right off. Comes right out of there. Give her a whack, give her another twist, and here we go. There you go. And the next thing we're going to do here is uh, go ahead and cut it up into cubes while it's still in the peel. Um, this just makes it easier to uh, scoop it out once we're uh, going to put it in the bowl. So it's a neat little trick here. Just uh, check this out. We'll show you a close-up shot here yeah. as well. This stuff is actually pretty soft on the inside. And you, you, if you can notice the color on these, this is about where you want it. Uh, you pick these things up in the store, you may need to let them set out for a day or two to get just right. But you want it about this consistency. And the cubes don't have to be perfect. It's all going to be all no, chunked up and up. stirred anyway. So yeah. here's your half inch of yeah. your onion here. Half inch of a white onion. All right. Here we Watch go. how easy this scoops out of the peel here. There we go. Just comes right out of there. Uh, again, just take a spoon is the best way I found to get the stuff out, and it just works perfectly. As you see, we uh, started out with uh, this bowl here, but uh, as you can see, we're going to run out of room pretty quick and we're going to end up yeah. using a bigger bowl. But now we're moving on to dicing up the onion here. Uh, everybody knows how to dice an onion, I think, so we uh, uh, won't spend too much time on this, but you can uh, do it as fine or as chunky as you want. Here's the uh, garlic. Same thing yeah. here. Just dice it as fine or as chunky as you want. It's really a personal preference. I didn't intend for this to be slow motion, but it is. So. <laughs> hey, it's still faster than, the, than how long it actually takes. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we're getting it all. You can tell that bowl's about to get a little full. Uh, we've, we've, got the, we've got the garlic, the onion. Now we're going to work on the jalapenos. you got to be careful with this. Uh, also, if you really wanted to spice it up, you know, the seeds in these things, that's what really makes them really hot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like to take the seeds out so uh, and, and just kick it up a little bit with the uh, uh, regular part of the jalapeno. But here we are de-seeding it, and uh, we're going to get these things out. And again, you got to be careful with these because uh, anybody who's ever worked with jalapenos will tell you you got to be careful not to... Uh, scratch your nose or rub your eye or anything like that because you'll be in a world of hurt. <laughs> it will set you free, I guarantee you. Yeah, so all right, we're going to rinse them off a little bit there and then uh, stack them up and start uh, dicing those up as well. And again, nobody ever said I would set any speed records with this. but <laughs> and Like I said, uh, it, it's all personal preference as far as how chunky you want this. Uh, if you don't want it as chunky, you can dice them up even finer. But as you see, the bowl is about to overflow here, so we're getting ready to move on to the bigger bowl. Bringing in our Roma tomato. Thing about Romas, uh, they supposedly have a little bit firmer meat on the inside, or a little more meat on the inside, and not quite as runny when you uh, dice them up. Very flavorful little guys, though. And here we're trying to uh, dice it up uh, without actually taking it apart. You just slice all the way down to just about the end, then you turn around and do it the other way. It makes it easier. Now we're almost there. We're going to take it down just a little bit more. That's just our preference. Scoop it up and uh, here we go to the new bowl here. Yeah, we weren't planning ahead too much with the uh, size of the bowl here, so we got the yeah. bigger bowl. Yeah. And uh, gonna have gonna have to have room to uh, stir it all up and mix it together. So. Add the rest in there. 
and before we get to stirring though we're gonna have to add our uh, lime and we'll show you how to do that here in a second it's gonna be half a lime roll it out first I always want to roll these suckers out before you uh, try to get the juice out of them it just makes it easier just gonna use half of it we're gonna squeeze as much juice as we can and add it into our, our mix now we're going in with the uh, a little bit of our cilantro, our Worcestershire sauce. What's that? Do? Worcestershire, Worcester, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Stuff in that bottle there. Yeah, you know, you guys know what it is. You call it what you want, but everybody yeah. knows what it is. A little bit of sea salt. Now we add the sea salt there, and uh, we're just about ready to stir it all together. It's almost done, and we're off to the races. Starting to smell real good at this point. Oh yeah, it, it does. Now, I've gotten down to a fork now, just kind of breaking it down. And this is the point to where, again, it's a preference thing. You can, uh, I like ours a little chunky. And uh, again, this thing has a ton of flavor. But uh, if you if you stir, the more you stir, the creamier it's going to get. Uh, obviously, the less you stir, the, the stir, the more chunky it'll be. And there you have it. So it's good to go. Just get you some tortilla chips and uh, enjoy. And be sure to check out GrillingChillingRecipes.com for more awesome recipes. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll catch you guys next time. Make it a great day.